Mercedes-Benz has chosen to adopt Tesla's North American charging standard for its EVs in North America, which has caused a stir in the electric vehicle industry. Tesla and Mercedes-Benz are two automotive giants. How will the partnership between Mercedes-Benz and Tesla reshape the EV industry, in which automotive giants are next in line to embrace this revolutionary technology? Mercedes-Benz has also revealed plans to launch its own fast-charging network with a hopping 2,000 stations dispersed across multiple markets, while Tesla is rolling out a customer referral incentive program globally aimed at boosting sales and competing boldly in the EV market. Explore this video to find the solutions. Following American rivals Ford and General Motors who have already embraced the NAC CSS to improve the charging options for their EVs starting in 2025, Mercedes-Benz has made a significant decision regarding the adoption of Tesla's North American charging standard for its electric vehicles. In an announcement made by the German luxury electric vehicle maker, it is confirmed that it will be joining the NAX coalition, a potential fellow German automaker. According to Reuters, Volkswagen is currently debating adopting the NAX in order to ensure a smooth transition. For its current EV as equipped with the combined charging system in North America, Mercedes-Benz plans to provide an adapter. Starting in 2024, this adapter will allow these vehicles to charge on the NAX network. In addition to embracing Tesla's charging technology, CC's is a widely used DC fast charging plug that competes with Tesla's connectors. Through their vehicle's navigation system, Mercedes-Benz drivers will have access to information about Tesla's superchargers. While Tesla has already taken steps to extend its supercharger network to owners of CCS-equipped electric vehicles through the Magic Dock adapter, fully adopting the ENT NAX is seen as a superior solution. This feature is expected to display the location's availability status and price of Tesla's superchargers, enhancing the charging experience for Mercedes-Benz EV owners. Tesla emphasizes the built-in benefits of NAX over CCS, including their sexiness, usability, affordability, and capacity for up to 1 MW DC charging. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, Tesla's superchargers account for about 60% of all fast chargers in the country, making them a very common sight. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has been working to make NAX the predominant charging standard in the U.S. Ford and Tesla's collaboration encourage other companies to do the same, including General Motors, Volvo Rivian, and Polestar. The decision by Mercedes-Benz to incorporate the NAX standard into its lineup of electric vehicles, starting in the United States in 2025, further solidifies the standard's status. From 2024, Mercedes-Benz owners will have access to the 12,000 supercharger stations that have been installed all across America. Notably, Mercedes-Benz is paving the way for Volkswagen to include NAX ports in its upcoming electric cars starting in 2025. By adopting Tesla's NAX, this action demonstrates the industry's cooperative effort to create a comprehensive and standardized charging infrastructure. In order to give its clients a seamless charging experience, Mercedes-Benz wants to help North America adopt electric vehicles on a large scale. With its recent announcement of a vast fast charging network, Mercedes-Benz is also making significant progress in the electric vehicle market. The German automaker intends to open more than 2,000 charging stations with a total of 10,000 terminals across North America, Europe, China, and other markets. No matter the brand or type of charging station, all electric vehicles will be able to access this network. With the global market for electric cars predicted to reach a staggering $1.1 trillion by 2030, automakers are keen on addressing key concerns among prospective buyers. A recent survey by Deloitte revealed that the availability of charging infrastructures is currently the top concern for EV shoppers, coming in second only to cost. By 2025, all Mercedes electric vehicles will come with a supercharger port as a standard feature, giving their customers convenience and flexibility. Currently, Mercedes drivers in the United States rely on the 60,000 Mercedes Me charge stations for recharging their electric vehicles. However, the company has plans to provide EV owners with an adapter that will allow their vehicles to connect to Tesla's supercharger network. The board chairman of Mercedes-Benz, Ola Kalinius, emphasized the firm's dedication to improving the entire EV experience for its customers. He said that wherever the Mercedes-Benz takes them, we are committed to elevating the entire EV experience for our customers, including fast, convenient, and reliable charging solutions. The plans of Mercedes-Benz heavily rely on the North American charging standard developed by Tesla. According to Tesla, a 15-minute charge is enough to power their vehicles for up to 200 miles. A Tesla supercharger uses a three-pronged connector known as the NAX to deliver 120 volts of electricity to the vehicle's battery. The federal government's $7.5 billion plan to establish a nationwide network of EV charging stations 
based on the combined charging system has been disrupted by rival automakers' widespread adoption of Tesla's electric vehicle EV, charging system. While the Biden administration initially sought to promote CCS as the universal charging system for all EVs in the United States, the increasing adoption of NACs by major automakers along with the recent mandate by the Texas Department of Transportation to include NACs in all new charging stations indicates that CCS is losing ground. Tesla CEO Elon Musk declined the government subsidy associated with SEX instead of offering the NAC system to other manufacturers free of charge. The industry's transition to Tesla's NACs and the expansion of Mercedes-Benz's charging network both highlight the rising significance of charging infrastructure in the upcoming EV market. As the price of EVs rises, Tesla launches a global customer referral incentive. War intensifies manufacturer of electric vehicles refer and earn is a new program that Tesla recently introduced that provides buyers with additional incentives through recommendations from current customers. This approach, which is frequently employed by traditional automakers to increase sales, aims to increase Tesla's customer base and market presence, the Refer and Earn program, which Tesla has aptly named, provides buyers with a number of incentives, including a cashback equivalent to $500 for customers in the U.S. who bought the Model 3 or Model I. In addition to the cashback, U.S. customers are also eligible for three months of Tesla's full self-driving feature, which adds value to their purchase. The major markets for Tesla, such as the United States, China, Germany, France, and Canada, have all implemented this referral program. Mexico, although Tesla has not yet responded to requests for comment on the rebates, the program's expansion into Hong Kong and Singapore, as indicated on the company's regional websites, demonstrates Tesla's commitment to bolstering its global presence and capturing a wider market share. Industry analysts see this referral program as a tactical move to increase sales and strengthen Tesla's position in the expanding electric vehicle market. market. In the past, established automakers have lowered car prices with employee and loyalty discounts, and now Tesla wants to use customer recommendations as a sales tool. Due to the high cost of its referral program, Tesla had previously stopped offering it. However, as part of its efforts to boost sales in a struggling economy and among increasing competition by putting longer-term profit ahead of immediate profit, Tesla wants to gain a bigger market share and perform better than both established automakers and up-and-coming electric vehicle startups. However, concerns remain about Tesla's profit margins and the potential effects of the price cuts as implemented. Garrett Nelson, an analyst at Fraud, acknowledges Tesla's efforts to increase volumes and market share, stating categorically that they are doing everything possible to increase volumes and take market share. Despite these factors, industry analysts like Chris Pierce from Needham expressed concern about the company's margins. This is especially true given that Tesla's inventory is still expanding at a slower rate. The impressive performance of Tesla's shares, which have more than doubled in value so far this year, surpassing the 15% rise in the SP500 index, shows that investors have faith in the company's growth potential and ability to outperform the market. Various regions' market expectations, different referral bonuses are being offered by Tesla in China. New owners of the Model Y and Model 3 cars will get a cash discount of 3,500 yuan if they provide a recommendation from an existing Tesla owner. Inviting others to take advantage of the program, Tesla owners in China have already started sharing their referral codes online. In the UK, customers who use referrals will start receiving discounts of €1,000 for the Model S and Model X starting on July 7, while the discount account for the Model 3 and Model I is currently at €500. Euro. Tesla's aggressive pricing strategy is distinguished by it while price reductions on new orders have slowed down and Tesla has increased discounts on already manufactured cars, cuts since late last year, particularly in China, have played a crucial role in drawing in more buyers. These actions, along with federal credits and incentives from the United States, helped Tesla deliver a record number of vehicles in the second quarter, exceeding market expectations. Tesla delivered a record number of its Chinese-made vehicles. On Sunday, the automaker delivered a record number of vehicles in the second quarter, exceeding market expectations. In the second quarter, Tesla also delivered more cars made in China than ever before. Tesla CEO Elon Musk increased the price in April. In a struggling economy, War declared that the company would put sales growth ahead of profit. Increased competition, that was all there was to say about Tesla and EV news today. Tesla shares have more than doubled so far this year, outperforming the 15 increase in the SP500 index. What do you think about Mercedes joining Tesla and NAC's Refer and Earn Incentive program? Share your thoughts in the comments section below, and if you want to watch more engaging videos, be sure to subscribe with all notifications turned on so you don't miss the newest Tesla news.